Hello everyone, um, I'm Yuri Staal. I'll be talking about uh, a game I made, Flooded Village. Um, this is uh, actually the very first game that really got uh, many views. So I'm gonna uh, start telling about uh, uh, where it began and uh, how I got actually here. Because one year ago, I wasn't even a game developer. I uh, made a, a puzzle game on, on paper, actually, I, I, I drew it. Uh, this is actually the sketch I made about the game, the, the game concept that I had. Uh, all, the, all the mechanics that made it into the game actually were written down in the first 30 minutes of uh, game development. For example, uh, there, oh, it's not visible on the image, but uh, for example, a, a few of the, the tiles, the pirates, uh, everything, the trees, it was all there. So. Um, <laughs> I'm not really used to this, actually. Uh, so, uh, I wrote it all down, but I wanted to <coughs> test it because I didn't want to keep drawing everything, so I made a little prototype in Flash. At the time, I didn't know, I, I didn't really know Flash. So, this was uh, what it actually looked like. There were uh, a couple, there's a grid with, with tiles, and you can click the black tiles uh, to dig a hole, and the water flows through. Uh, the red blocks are houses that need to be connected to the water. And if a red block is connected to water, then it becomes green. The funny thing is that later on in the game, the houses were actually replaced by trees. So in a game called Flooded Village, there are actually no houses. Uh, yeah, the, and the advice I want to give everyone is uh, to prototype stuff. So don't get stuck in uh, thinking about the game for too long. Just go build it, test it out, and ask other people for advice and to test it. So, but uh, as you can see, this isn't really uh, uh, good looking for a game. So I used some uh, prototype art, which is here. It was made by uh, Daniel Cook, the creator of Triple Town, and this was this was the first step from, from a prototype to kind of like a working game with the flavor already in it. You can see people. And um, this, this also caused the distinctive look of the 3D tiles in the actual flooded village. Uh, I apologize to Daniel Cook for looking uh, too much like his original work. And the advice I want to give you is uh, make sure you have a prototype. You know what you're doing before you actually buy the stuff because I know uh, other uh, developers who uh, bought stuff and then eventually got rid of it after the prototyping. And it's just a waste of time. But uh, as you can see, this isn't uh, the final art. So I got myself an artist. Instead of asking uh, him exactly what I wanted to draw, I let him play the game and I said, well, I want you to draw your vision of what I have made. So this is what he came up with. And uh, it already looks very much like the uh, actual game. You can notice that the pirate has a mustache here, and he doesn't in the final game. So uh, what kind of decision did we make about it? None, he just forgot to draw it. <laughs> uh, something else to note about this sketch, because he, he just made one uh, piece of art for the entire game, is that uh, there were details in this sketch that eventually made it into the game. I didn't even think of them. For example, there's a goat. Uh, the, the villager has a little goat. And uh, I made sure that it was in the final game as well. So if you don't do anything in the game for about uh, five seconds, then the goat shows up. And he actually makes a sound. The same thing happens with, uh, <laughs> with the tree. Uh, the tree has a, a bird in it. So if you wait for uh, a, a few seconds, then the bird also uh, shows up and uh, tweets. So this is uh, the next step. You can see it's all colored and all uh, redrawn, etc. Uh, yeah, 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 this is the part uh, with... Uh, I want to give you the advice to do more than uh, just what is exactly needed. So if you need five mechanics for the game, just add another one that uh, maybe only unlocks when you play the game for long enough or something. Just, just give the, the, the people that, that little bit of extra because the, they'll love it. 
So one of the people who actually liked my game uh, back when it was prototyped was uh, Reese Millage, the creator of WonderPut. So I asked the guy if he wanted to make the animations. Unfortunately, he was too busy. But he said, uh, uh, you can have my brother who does audio. <laughs> Uh, the funny part is he worked on Guitar Hero and other awesome stuff, so I was like, well, for, for, for a first game, this is uh, really great to have you in my team, sure. And um, yeah, I'm also very honored that he uh, voiced all the characters, including the goat, which you will uh, hear soon. I'll uh, kind of skip the sale because it's not really that interesting. You can see the, the bits went up and then eventually I sold it, but I wasn't really happy with, uh, with the amount of money I got for it, but it was also my first game, so it didn't get much uh, attention. And uh, later on, I made a sequel, and that really got a lot of attention. So that's the, that's the last slide. Um, I also made a sequel for Christmas, uh, Flooded Village Christmas Eve. Um, the, the best part about a sequel is that you can fix the problems you had before. So uh, uh, there was a problem with uh, uh, people not understanding how to do the ice. Uh, people didn't understand how to fill gaps with sand, etc. So I took all that stuff out. Uh, that, that was problematic in the first versions. And actually made the game that the first game was supposed to be. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, when you make a sequel, I want to give you also the advice to not just add more stuff, add more stuff, add more stuff, but also take uh, pieces out to make it all uh, uh, more one whole. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, the last part is uh, the first game I made in five months, and the sequel I made in ten days, and they were both equally successful. So last part is the video finally. Well, you can always come uh, downstairs and uh, take a look at the game. Thank you. <laughs>